Color is one of the most confusing aspects of jigs and it's something that uh, you can break down as far as you want. Sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't, but I've tried to simplify color selection down to about six or seven different types of color. And then from there, it's just a matter of experimenting. So basically, um, to me, you've got your silver and gold and shiny colors. You've got solid uh, natural and patterned natural colors. And then you've got solid and patterned uh, bright colors. And then you've got your UVs and your glow colors. So that's kind of how I break it down. With a lot of walleye jigs, they have two-tone colors as well. So they're mixing and matching a couple of those different ones. So I'm going to start with your chromes, your silvers, your golds. These are great for fishing clear water, sunny days when that light is gonna hit the jig and reflect off of it. Um, a gold jig is, if I had to pick one jig, it would probably be a gold jig. A gold jig will catch fish just about anywhere, but there's times where uh, chrome or silver tend to work better, uh, especially in like pelagic fish scenarios where you have smelt or alewives, stuff like that, that are more silver, shad, that kind of thing. That can be a real key. Um, probably not the best colors to fish in really dark murky water uh, or, you know, really dark days. They don't really stand out as much. Those are great for clear water, sunny conditions. Now your natural, uh, let's see if I have one here. Here's a, a natural color, a solid color. These are great as well for fishing clear water scenarios, finicky fish. Um, you know, I tend to not use as many bright colors in clear water and tend to stick with those natural whites and uh, minnow, minnow type colors. Even a plain lead head jig, you know, a lot of jigs come unpainted like this one, will catch fish. It, it's a pretty natural looking color and um, that's a great option. You can also get like natural pattern colors um, that have like stripes and stuff on them. And I don't think that's as important on walleye jigs because typically they're moving fairly fast, uh, but you can certainly change it up and put some like stripes or scale patterns on those jigs. And then you get into your bright solid colors and your bright pattern colors. And those I obviously are gonna fish in a little bit darker stained water. Um, chartreuse, is one of the best walleye colors, if not the best walleye color overall of all time. Chartreuse will catch fish in almost any condition. Even clear water at times I've done really, really well on chartreuse. It just seems to be a walleye killer. Uh, another great one is purple. Uh, purple is a good walleye color, especially in darker water. You're talking dark days on dark water, you want a darker bait so that profile can be seen from below. And that's when purple is gonna be more of a, a standard for me than like my oranges or chartreuses. So then we get into our, basically our UVs and our glows. And glow jigs have been around for a long time. They're great for fishing at night, it helps the fish track that bait at night. And I'll definitely use those if, it's, if I'm fishing in the dark a lot of times. Not always, sometimes it tends to have the opposite reaction and fish kind of shy away from it, but you just have to kind of try it and see how it works. Some nights you can't hardly beat a glow jig. It just seems like they really, really key on that. And then your UV colors, those are gonna be really good in low light conditions. So like morning, evening, super murky water, a little bit of UV light comes through and, and it, it reacts different to water than, than your standard light that we see. And fish can kind of pick that out in low light conditions typically. So uh, I think this these jigs right here have some UV on them and that's gonna show up a little bit better for those fish. So that's kind of how I break down color. Again, there's days where it really, really matters, but there's a lot of days where basically just a basic presentation change of light to dark or dark to light or you know to UV is gonna be the only thing you're gonna need. It's not really gonna matter if it's pink or chartreuse or orange versus black or purple. You know, it's, it's really not gonna matter. It's, as long as you're making those bigger changes, you'll find out what the fish prefer, and that's what I go by.